folks. So today we're going to talk about clear quartz. And we all know there's a million different kinds of quartz and there's a million different purposes for quartz. So right now we're just going to focus on regular plain Jane clear quartz. Only there's really nothing regular about it. Um, quartz is one of the few materials that actually can turn one type of energy to another. Uh, it's basically mechanical energy, it can turn it into electrical energy, which is why you see quartz crystal watches and that kind of thing. And as such, it's a crystal that you can program with intent and energy. It also helps absorb energy um, if you don't program it and just leave it blank. It will absorb the energy around it, which is why when your pieces get a little cloudy or whatever, you need to kind of bear them and let them release that energy or put them out in the moon. Um, clear quartz is pretty good for a lot of different things. So if you have an intention um, that you want to do it with, you can program it for that intention. For example, if you have a super clear piece like this guy, you can kind of just hold on to it, meditate with it, and imbue it with a purpose. You know, like if you wanted it to be a protective crystal, or if you wanted it to, you know, be a clarifying crystal that removes the negative energy from you you can do that with it and that's why these little clear guys like that are so desirable you can also program them with loving intention you can use them pretty much they're the white candle of the crystal world you can use them for just about anything because they are able to take energy um, you know it's a uh, an interesting crystal in that it tends to have a lot of variations you know there's ones that have you know spots in them that are you know phantoms there's ones that have water in them that are in hydro and those have bonus or additional qualities over the top of your regular quartz um, but crystal and quartz crystal has always been desirable. It's a material the ancients used in a lot of artwork and a lot of carvings and things. So it's something that, you know, even back then was something very desired. You see a lot of rock crystal in art, um, whether it's goblets or the eyes of statuary or whatever. So even the ancients realized it was a powerful object. So if you have your clear quartz, what you can do with it is you can program it with your intentions. You can use it in spell work. Um, you can give it as a gift imbued with intention, or you can just let it absorb that negativity away from you. Um, put it in your pillowcase and sleep on it so that it takes away bad dreams. It has a lot of uses. Um, so here's some examples of quartz. There we go. So we've got, you know, our clear crystal tower. We have it as a wand. And with wands, you know, you're dealing with touch. Um, so a lot of times your, your quartz wand is going to be something that, again, you've imbued with intention. We have it in a sphere. As you can see, this particular sphere's got some rainbow in it. And then you have these little boogers here that are small pieces that are good for spell work or intention setting or even jewelry making. Um, anyway, so I don't know if I've taught you anything you didn't already know about quartz, but it's a stone that you definitely should consider if you're doing energy work. All right, guys, I hope y'all are having a great day. I will talk at you later. Bye.